Problem 866. Determine the force required to lift a 200 pound crate. So we're pushing this in and this goes up this incline and it pushes up the crate. The static friction at all contacting surfaces is 0.3. Neglect the mass of the wedge. Let's draw a free body diagram of the crate. going to have mg down, which is 200 kilograms, times 9.81, which equals 1962. Now, if it's pushed up against the wall, then there's a force of friction down. And we'll call that, uh, it's called A, got point A. So force of friction A, and then we have the normal force A. As the wedge gets pushed in, it's pushing in on the crate. And so we'll call that FB. And there's a normal force up. We call that normal B. Now on the wedge down here, okay, we got P over, we got FB to the left, and we got NB down. And on the incline, we have normal, and then we have friction as it tries to force it up the incline. Alright, so let's start by summing the forces on the crate. So if we sum the forces in the x direction, <coughs> we've got Na to the left, so negative Na, and we got Fb to the right. Now, it's slipping at B, so FB is equal to 0.3 NB. So, NA is equal to 0.3 NB. Now, let's sum the forces in the vertical, in the Y. So, in the Y, we have NB down. We've got Na um, Oh wait, we're doing this one right. So Na We've got Fa down So minus Fa Which is 0.3 Na There we go Minus 1963 2 down. And that equals 0. So now we have, uh, let's solve this one. We got uh, NB, okay, NA is 0.3 NB. So we can put 0.3 NB, no, we'll put 0.3. In B here. So FA is 0.3 in A, which is 0.3 in B. So if we move the 1962 over, we've got 1 in B minus, but that in B, should that be negative? That in B is up. My bad. So 1 in B minus 0.3 times 0.3 is 0.09 in B. So we got 0.91. NB equals 1962, so NB equals 2156. And so NB, NA is 0 0.3 NB, so 0 0.3 of NB is uh, 647. And FB then will be 
0.3 times 21.56, which also equals 647. That's because FB was equal to NA. And if we look at it, right, NA is pushing this way, FB is pushing that way, to be equal and opposite. So that was a little redundant work there. Now let's look at the wedge here. So on the wedge, we'll sum the forces in the y direction. <clears throat> so in the y direction, we have F, uh, NB down, negative, negative NB, and we've got F going down, this angle here is 15, so this angle here is 15. So in the y direction, we're going to have the uh, sine. So negative F sine 15 plus N pushing up, so that angle is 15. So N cosine 15 equals 0. So NB we know, and F uh, F we don't know. And we know that F is slipping. So F here is equal to 0.3n, so that's 0.3n, so 0.3 times the sine of 15 is 0.0776n, plus the cosine of 15, 0.966n, equals 0. Combine the n's, move it to the other side, and n is equal to 24 27. Now let's sum the forces in the y and the x. So in the x direction, we have n uh, wait, I'm going to start with p. p. We're going to have p to the left or the right. We're going to have this part of n. We're going to have this part of f and we're going to have FB. So P to the right minus FB minus F cosine 15 because there's the 15 right there and here's a 15 so then we have minus N sine 15. That all equals zero. So P, F, B is 647. The uh, cosine of 15 is 0.966 F. And N is 256. No, no, 2156. And then the, cosine, the sine of 15 is a 0.259. So that makes that 628, oh, that equals 0. And uh, F equals 0.3N. So P, if we put that into there, P is equal to 1977.